Part 2 is in session, so let's continue. First few in this part are demo tapes. This one is Picture Windows from 1995. And this is another green demo tape. I have quite a few of them. Put in the 50th week of 1995. Next couple on clamshells, this one is Flipper from MC Universal. I do, do apologize for the glare in this. And put in the 29th week of 1996. This one is Now and Forever from the Sherwood Temple Collection. Print in the 30th week of 1996, so one, one week after Flipper. This one is Fluke from MGM UA Family Entertainment. I do have the original 1995 release as well, which comes in a slip cover. And put it on July 26, 1996. This one is Looking for Trouble from New Horizons. So I have quite a few demo tapes from them. And this one does not have a print date. This is Zeus and Roxanne from HBO. Co-produced by Reicher Entertainment. And the print date on this one is March 3rd, 1997. And the back is the same as the retail release, by the way. This one is Celestial Clockwork, another Evergreen Entertainment demo tape. This is from 1997. And put in the 48 ninth week of 1996. This one is The Legend of Drunken Master, which I'll be retail release as well. Put it on January 2nd, 2001. This one is The County Monte Cristo, which also for retail release. Put it on May 22nd and June 12th, 2002. Here's the last demo tape, China Strike Force. Put it on May 6th, 2003. This one is Millennium. Now we're getting back to the retail tapes. And this is an IVE tape from 1990. Formed off an unknown video store. And put in the ninth, the fifth week of 1990. Next few Warner Clan shows. This one is Roots. Volume 1, which also got Volumes 2, 3, and 5. They didn't have Part 4 or 6 in at the Goodwill, but here are the spines to the other, since they all look the same. Front and back look identical. Next to we have Sanford and Son Collector's Edition tapes. This one is Where's the Money? And put on November 25th, 1998. This one is The Junk Business. And put on July 28th, 1998. 
And this one is scheming. Put on June 29th, 1998. This one is All in the Family 20th Anniversary Special. This is quite a rare tape, so I picked this one up. And printed in the 35th week of 1992. Next two are one even approved playtime tapes. This one is Detective Tigger. Put on January 17th, 1994. And this one is Cowboy Poo. This one's printed two days earlier on January 15th, 1994. Next to a wonderful world of Disney tapes, this one is Toothless starring Kirstie Alley. Put on April 17th, 1998. And this one's The Love Bug. The remake, obviously. Put on June 18th, 2001. Here's the Warren Hardy Tate from Cabin Fever Entertainment, The Men of War. And this is the colorized version, which not a big fan of those. But Warren and Hardy are hilarious, that's why I got it. Next up, The White Buffalo, starring Charles Bronson. And I'm Jimmy UA tape, obviously. And put on February 10th, 1992. Next title, The Missing. And this is a Columbia TriStar tape in 2004. And this is directed by Ron Howard. Former of an unknown video store. Put in the sixth week of 2004. Next up is an MGM Big Box, The Night of the Shooting Stars. This is a 1982 Italian film. And this is subtitled in English. In other words, this has the original Italian audio track. But I couldn't pass up an MGM Big Box. And this is a later printing. Here's the MGM Home Video tray on this one. Next up, Mount St. Helens, and this is a tape from 1989, Explosive Evidence for Catastrophe. And this has oversized reels, and there's no print date. Next title, Video Visits Whales, or Discovering Whales, as you say. I had caught a few other ones as well, which I got a couple weeks ago. Here's the last tape in this part of Mice and Men, starring Robert Blake and Randy Quaid. And this is a present entertainment tape from 1985, although, as you'll see, this is a way to reprint. And put it on July 14th, 1992. And that's going to be it for part two, and stay tuned for part three.